So I watched one of my videos the other day and I really liked it. I realized that I have to be really much, much more captivating in the beginning though. So I'm going to talk fast right now and I don't really know what I'm saying probably because I can't concentrate because I'm thinking about how I have to say another video. So you can see that um, I look different. I'm, I'm, I'm try I tried to save time by not uh, talk, talk fast, talk fast by not shaving <laughs> and by not making videos. But the one thing that I noticed was I have been um, not as happy. It could be seasonal, perhaps. It's cold. You want to like snuggle up and uh, not do anything and and there's less light and I have all my windows open so that m most of the light well I don't have that one open which I should but the light does seep through my cotton curtains and I have my lights blasted so that the picture looks better and stuff <sighs> okay so I have not been very productive and I have been sadder and it probably has a lot to do with not making videos I like making videos I know what I have to do differently I do have a plan I am going to do one take videos these are going to be my videos on this channel on toy channels because that's all I can do and then one day if I uh, have enough money for a computer that I can edit on then I will indeed that's how we will progress I mean we have to progress we have to change uh, this is the change now this is teaching me how to uh, um, maybe maybe it's psychosomatic speak coherently that I can't uh, think the more I think about it the less I can do it so yeah I notice that with my videos so, like it gets easier as they go on anyway I like my content it's the kind of content that I would want to watch and when I turn it on to just when I like I don't watch my videos but when I do watch my videos like the other day when I put one on and last watch my last video I didn't want to turn it off I was I was I captivated myself and that might be because there's nobody I have more in common with than myself um, I have a mess around here um, those have to come down that's one thing that I did notice I kind of figured this now I'm gonna have to there's somebody somebody just came into my house so I'm gonna have to talk quietly now these things have to come down I don't like them so we're gonna have to deal with that I have to sell more things that's really important and of course course just just when I'm recording that's always the way maybe I can maybe I can just come come into the closet sit down on the floor close the door you should do that probably can hear me though if you're in the laundry room I don't mind whispering. I think that's kind of good too. This is this is this is good. It's not warm in here or anything. It's kind of cold because there's less insulation in the closet. Uh, oh, I don't I don't want to show you my hair. My hair's really funny. I don't want to show you from the side because it doesn't look good from the side. What else is going on? All right, so I have to sell toys. I have to make accountability. Maybe that's with you. If people usually do it with their friends. I have no friends. I don't want any friends. I really don't. Uh, am I? Am I? Am, I guess I've been watching a lot of Netflix uh, European crime dramas. There's just short ones. They're not very good, actually. So there's yeah, there's lots there's lots of good stuff um, out there to watch. I've noticed that my memory is really bad now. Like stuff in recent years, like if I watch uh, a show on Netflix, uh, in uh, six months I'll totally forget everything that happened in. Like I'll remember pieces. I'll remember like the characters, maybe a little bit, but I'll totally forget oh, what's going on in the 
it's very very strange i guess that's an old uh, old man thing can we talk about being an old man i'm kind of embracing it i'm kind of uh just gonna be old and cool old and like a cool old man um not gonna that's why like my hair and my beard is so gray so i guess i look a lot older but maybe better than I did in my previous video, which is only it's only a couple weeks ago. It wasn't that long. I do know that I I love making YouTube videos. I do know that I it's, it's you know it's therapeutic to talk. I do know that it is a um, way to be creative. I do know that I have a lot of uh, toys basically to get rid of. I I know that I am a minimalist, despite what it might look like because I do cram everything into a tiny little space. But I have to get rid of uh, as many toys as possible, and uh, it's, uh, it's not as easy as I need it to be. But I do have plans, and that is what... Well, that's what every box is. That's what these boxes are. And I have been juggling stuff around, and despite me not... Uh, doing as much as I should been should have been doing it okay well, there's more stuff I want to talk about. I was just gonna show you the boxes that are spread out around in my room. But I haven't been doing as many things as I as much as I should have been doing, but it has been the end of the year. So uh people got all kinds of Christmas money apparently and they have been buying lots of stuff. So uh, that is good. My prices are really, really low to compensate for the horrible Canadian postage, which I've talked a million times about. Oh, it's it's so bad. But luckily, surprisingly, a lot of my toys are worth a lot of money. And there, some of them are worthless, though. And that is the biggest struggle. So I, I'm, I kind of have figured it out just to put those aside um but maybe not put them aside i should be like selling thing like twenty dollars twenty dollars twenty dollars because that stuff does add up too but i tend not to want to sell anything that's um lower than fifty dollars because it just doesn't seem worth my time but i guess if you do it all together it could be i worry about boxes and packing materials if it was too much because boxes believe it or not are hard to come by but I do have quite a stash as well but maybe not the right size for what I need and uh, they you really get charged more if you don't have the right size box I mean you gotta you gotta put the item in the smallest box possible because every little centimeter makes it makes a difference and what they charge you here in Canada. It's horrible. It's horrendous. So those are, um, postage is a big struggle for me. Uh, what else am I struggling with? I wasn't going to talk about my struggles because you want to, you want to talk about, oh, I shouldn't be putting it next to the heater because it's making noise. Uh, I want to talk about good things, positive things, happy things. I guess there aren't any. No, there are. There's all. There's more to. There. Uh, there's toys that I definitely want. I like toys. That's that's pretty sad too. I mean, I am kind of. I am very materialistic. Uh, what something looks like is very important to me. I'm very uh, choosy about what I like. I notice that my dry mop is really annoying me because it's made of plastic and it's red and I thought I used to... Oh, is that it? Is that a red thing? What is that? Oh, no, it's my shirt. I thought that was a broom handle. I don't even think the handle is red. This is my vacuum cleaner. I don't mind that. It's made of plastic, but I, I do like uh, old fashioned. These are plastic too, probably. But that's not ideal for me. I like these. These are paper. Yeah, I want my, I want my, I want everything to be metal and wood and glass 
and I want to live like a pioneer and that it could be an option for me coming soon but maybe not coming soon um, as you can see I'm kind of preparing for homelessness I, I just I'm testing out what it what what if I look homeless then maybe I'll know what it's like what was I saying about uh, oh I was, I was talking about how I do want to keep more toys than I think I do it'll probably add up a lot and other things like furniture and stuff like that I don't really care about I don't really have anything left just my bed and I definitely don't want to take a bed with me wherever I go I usually do buy a new bed when I go somewhere do I keep the frame what happened to my old bed frame I guess I got rid of it did an ex-girlfriend take it with her when she went no I don't th I'm, I made my last bed yeah and before this, the, before the bed I have right now, I brought this bed. I did bring this bed. Did I bring this bed? Yeah. Well, anyway, the last bed, I, bed frame I made, I really liked it. And I always had a futon mattress before because I like, uh, I would always buy the ones that were made with 100% um, natural fibers and stuff. I don't want any of the foam and stuff. And I, um, like, again, Pioneer, that's what I like but I did buy an Ikea mattress they had one that was like um, mostly cotton and springs and it was natural fibers and I, when I bought the frame I bought it with it but normally I would put a futon mattress on a on a bed frame too because you could get a uh, it, it's easier to get a uh, an affordable like 100% wool or cotton or a mix of cotton and wool um, bed and it's firm and I could probably even sleep on the floor on a yoga mat I have done that before when I've had back problems yoga I started doing yoga uh, but then I stopped because oh yeah that's something I wanted to tell you about I stopped because I don't know if it was a uh, I don't know I, I think today is the first day that there's no numb nuts no uh, no pun intended uh, or pun intended I'm a numb nut uh, me and my groin was hurting and I didn't know if I had a, what, what, um, a urinary tract infection or I pulled something while I was doing yoga or it started at the beginning of the year and I have not been um, chugging water that's the best thing you can do and I, I find that apple cider vinegar really, really works, but I buy a detox tea too. But I think it's the apple cider vinegar, to tell you the truth, um, which uh, you put the right acids in your body. And I know that from when I put apple cider vinegar on my skin, I can get rid of things that are, are bad um, on my skin as well like it'll clear up blemishes and and that is a daily thing and I should probably make a video like that one day of me and how I um, my daily routine for getting rid of uh, uh, getting rid of no just my night nighttime routine I'm distracted by the things I'm, I'm looking around here I guess the things I have here I like are nice it's just an old leather suitcase a canvas suitcase my yoga mat that I had out oh, I can't really see whatever I guess filters for my air purifier which seems to be not working I should vacuum that thing out I think it's it's so dusty I noticed um, because when I opened my windows today there's so much dust floating around and again that probably has a lot to do with the amount of stuff that I have crammed in here and I when I do do a big vacuum on the floor I don't think it uh, compensates for all of the accumulated dust on the stuff on the shelf I really have to tackle that stuff but what's really most important because the truth the truth be told that stuff would be easier for me to just 
get rid of and say I don't need it. Obviously, it's behind a curtain. I haven't used it for years. I mean, I do keep the stuff that I have and need and use uh, back there, and when I do, I do have to go back in there looking for things every once in a while. These are toys that I've separated to sell immediately, I guess, because they were, oh, I don't know, just it just happened I guess they were on top or easily accessed or things that I've been looking at and realized that I didn't want and then this is a these are boxes of things that I want to do in a giant toy review and then the wall is kind of getting out of control I should probably just take all that stuff down and I don't know I don't know I kind of I hate toys now because they uh there's some toys I like. Like I say, I hate toys, but there are a lot of toys that I look at and just think that they're so cute and love them so much. Oh, like like Castle Grayskull and Snake Mountain. They, yeah, I love them. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's just it's oh it's overwhelming, and that's what um that is preventing me from it's, it, 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 it's a hindrance it's stopping me is that a word from getting things done uh, this is supposed to be a good place for me to make a video maybe I need to turn on more lights obviously the, it's too much backlit and looking kind of skinny I noticed in this t-shirt today I did do some pull-ups I didn't do yoga because I wasn't uh, ready to uh, do that. Stop saying, uh. I don't think I do that too much. I don't think I'm one of those people. I should put down the blind. Let's, let's, let's test out some. Let's test out some lighting. Yeah, no wonder. No wonder my videos suck so bad. The lighting isn't good. Can we recalibrate? No, it's just not bright enough here. It was so much brighter. I guess that's why people make videos in the window. Should we try that? That's what they tell you to do. If you're a, a new YouTuber and you don't have lights, they, they tell you to open a window and sit in it and make a video this way. I mean, you can tell me if the lighting's okay. Anyway, I'm surprised at how messy it is here because of how much that at least I have been organizing, but I guess it's it's the project piles. There's always project piles. And that's really what I wanted to do. That is a project pile of stuff that I want to get rid of. That, it's actually stuff that I have to sort through and then that is mm, three different projects of things that I want to do this is one giant video that I want to do that's more shit to clean up that stuff to immediately put on eBay, eBay even though I am questioning how I'm how I'm doing this I really should probably just put the shit aside the stuff that's not worth over fifty dollars and get rid of the stuff that's worth fifty dollars or more first and then and then and then trickle down and I just put the stuff out of the way because even if I did have to leave um, more quickly than I that I'm prepared to at least I would uh, have the stuff that's not worth as much put aside, put aside, put aside. But yeah, it really does sound like the best plan to do. So yeah, I should dig through the stuff and find the most expensive stuff. I mean, I can't think about it too much though either because I always get surprised. Sometimes I pull out um, something and find out that it is worth a lot or I'll pull out something that I think is worth a lot and it's not worth anything. 
but you you have you have no idea we're talking we're talking tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of toys and also another reason is there could be like a fire or something knock on wood that there's not and then everything everything would be gone in smoke so i should be getting rid of it before you know something the the sooner i get rid of it the safer and then plus less the more i put on my credit card the less the less interest and stuff the most important thing is to sell toys why am i making videos uh it's good for my it's good for my health i guess can can we get into a place where there's some light i also wanted to i, I needed to make this video to see I don't know if I feel comfortable making toy videos with my face looking like this. Not that my face was any better before. It might have been a, a big problem is that I am a man who likes to review baby toys and dolls. I'm really, I don't I, I'm hating, I'm hating a lot of toys. The toys that I like the most right now though are, uh, that I can't get away with are my Masters of the Universe and uh, baby toys. They're what I really like. And 12 inch action figures and dioramas. Because I can build the house that I want to live in. See, right here. That's where I want to live. That's uh, another video. Well, I mean, I could also live in Snake Mountain too. That'd be a cool place to live. Oh yeah, I keep going away from here because the lighting isn't so good. Anyway, we don't need the lighting to be good. We do need the audio to be better. How long have I been speaking for? Did uh, the camera turn off by itself? No, it's only been 22 minutes. Usually I can do this for 60. But since we're just coming back and I'm being quiet and maybe I'll do some more pull-ups Maybe I'll do like six sets of pull-ups today since I'm not doing anything else. And I thought I've been eating better after stints of not eating good. Well, something I did want to speak to you about is, uh, <laughs> to you about, or something that I hear all the time is, and something that I always agreed with and I always said that, um, just because it's a new year, why why do you why do people have New Year's resolutions and stuff? But and I'm like and I I still stick with this that make the change now. Don't wait for a time to do it. And every day for me is a New Year's Day. Every day is a birthday. Every day is Christmas. Really, especially when I'm you know making videos and being happier and I guess opening toys all the time that I'm probably playing with toys I'm sure that makes the the happy factor go up but there's so much so much stuff happens around there I mean even I mean my life is different than anyone else's though I don't like to family Christmas and all that jazz but everybody else does so there's this lull and that's kind of probably has something to do with how i'm not as ha was i haven't been as happy as i was um like during christmas for example and and there's this this post christmas lull people are still i don't know on vacation there's not there's not as much action there's not as much movement there's not as much things happening so it is quieter and I think maybe maybe they put out more more stuff on Netflix and th th this time of year it, it is this big bustle you, you do all this stuff I mean I made during November and December I made um, at least two yeah at least two videos every day so that was crazy so yeah there's this all this stuff that happens and then there's this of course of course it's a good time there's it's a new year you start fresh and i mean 
I would think that it is a good time to start fresh when things are so quiet in January. And I mean, it was before I started doing yoga. Like I always say to you and I say to myself too, that I like the class part of yoga, but I actually was enjoying just opening my laptop and taking a YouTube class and doing it from there. Just my groin started hurting and it went, and there was also something I wasn't feeling right. Oh yeah, that's something that added to this I, I was a, it's a virus or something, or maybe it was just a, uh, uh, an, infe an urinary tract infection, and it was just uh, making me not feel well, and also my testicles were in pain, so it was like making me not feel good everywhere. And I, and I, and I'm, I'm not a, I'm not somebody who won't go to the doctor, but I know that, especially in Canada, this, I actually saw this meme on, on the internet recently where when you go to the doctor in Canada, they don't do anything anyway. I mean, you probably really have to be persistent, but they just give you antibiotics. Uh, I'm against antibiotics. I'm against all medication, really, I think. I guess until <laughs> that might be changing for me the older I get the more oh that's something that I started to talk about about aging we do fall apart we're falling apart you get to a certain age and then things start to disintegrate I'm hiding the the beard is hiding the the weird the weird stretchy skin that was happening in my neck or maybe Maybe my diet changed. <laughs> I was really noticing. I I stopped. I stopped apple cider vinegar or eating as much apple cider vinegar as I normally did. Maybe because I I I know that that is internally and externally good for your skin, but maybe I, maybe it did take away my elasticity. Maybe that was the problem. Anyway, I'm not noticing any more probably because my neck is all covered. I'm saving time. I, I have been saving a lot of time not making videos, not shaving, not uh, not going toy shopping. That's been very minimalized. Not going to the post office, which isn't good. Um, the thing, like I said, right after Christmas, I did sell lots of expensive big ticket items, so that was good but it's really slowed down and I have to put I have and I have some space on there too some free listing space so that's what I have to do and I can't use other methods I, I see the other I see the other people selling things on uh, on Facebook and yeah it's not there's there's no other way to sell things well in Canada except on eBay oh and, and selling things on eBay in Canada is not cool because of the postage the postage is i can't believe postage is cheaper to send things to the states sometimes than it is to send stuff to even canada which is so messed up like the furthest state away what what is it texas new mexico i can send stuff there cheaper than some places in canada I do have a couple parcels to take to the post office. Oh, and cold. Who wants to go out in the cold? I think the weather next week is supposed to be a little bit warmer, but it has been a bit cold. It did snow and rain and snow and rain and snow. We have no... Yeah, there's not... There's not any snow on the ground. I live in the southern part of... the most southern part of Canada. So, below probably... I think it's... I did, I looked it up, 25, 20, 25 states. I'm either equally at your longitude or uh, under or equal to other people who live in the United States out of 20 states. So um, there is a misconception of uh, Canada being in igloos. I'm really happy that... Uh, noise pollution is happening. You probably can't hear it, which I've tried to embrace that 
every time every time that there's noise around me and I think hey this is a great I don't have to be self-conscious about anybody hearing me speak notice I'm starting to speak a little louder now but I get I get really I get I do get um, I get really irritated at it because I guess it's because I can't control it I'm mad at myself I can't be mad at somebody else for yes I can I can be mad at somebody else for not being considerate but I'm in this situation I have to I have to fix it I have to get I have to I have to make it I have to make it so it's my own I have to make it so I can be alone I mean is that gonna be is that gonna be homeless so I can my stuff I did say that in one of my last videos that I made my stuff is what's uh, preventing me from from moving so the stuff is the answer that's get rid of everything and then we'll be okay also have been seeing this uh, negative movement towards minimalism but there is no right I mean there's this uh, there's this uh, what do you call that ultra extremist minimalism where you, people say you have to have this amount of stuff you can only have this many items that's ridiculous that's stupid folding your clothes in a certain way mm, well I mean that's there's science behind that there's there's a reason and there's method so um, I don't I don't because of because of the clothing the types of clothing that I wear the Mary Kondo folding methods don't really work for me because well, I mean all my t-shirts are the same so I don't have to like line them up to look at them because I can just take the one off the top so I don't have to fold in that method and even my towels which I really enjoy folding things and making them all square but I have it set up where my ha I have hooks to hang my towels on so I don't even have to fold them so that saves time so there are times when these rules are good and when the rules are bad but truly having too much stuff it is a burden and it does get in the way and of course you want to be a minimalist of course you don't want to have hoard all kinds of stuff that you don't use and you can't find because you have too many things to find this stuff why would you want to keep all kinds of stuff that you don't use and oh yeah and that's the other thing I've been really good about this I'm not I'm not gonna throw out something like that I can and will wear eventually when like when these t-shirts wear out I have other t-shirts like I'm not gonna throw out these perfectly good t-shirts that I actually love I'm going to keep them for when I don't I might not love them as much as these t-shirts but they're good enough and I don't have to you know destroy the earth so I am gonna hold on them because I know that I like them and I know that I can wear them and the 2020 rule does not apply to me can you get something in 20 minutes for twenty dollars it's gonna take me more than 20 minutes to go across the street and buy something I don't understand how I guess that's people with cars people with cars that's another thing that keeps coming up for me when I'm trekking through the cold with my parcels and there's a blizzard and I have to get my parcels to the post office and it's freezing out you know it's Canada so yes maybe there hasn't been a lot of snow but sometimes it is minus 20 I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit but it's fucking cold so I'm you know I've got my bags and I'm putting my hands are freezing I'm getting frostbitten my my fingers and toes are going numb and I'm going and then it's raining and then it's snow well it's not raining if it's 20 below but sometimes it's cold but it's not it's just on the edge and it's going, crossing between rain and snow and it's really cold and, and then if I just had a car like if I was like a real grown man but that's society see a real grown man and that's why you can't that's why I can't come here to complain because real grown men don't can complain and nobody wants you to come here and complain but complaining is good enough I do like the part of me showing that I'm real I do definitely have to do more positive things I do definitely need to uh, as much as I am over I'm not 
the the self help and the guru people and the because there's good information there. I really do think there's uh, there's planning. People can teach you how to plan and. I don't I don't know I could never make those videos though I would never be so bold as to um, go on a video and here's 20 well never say never but 20 things to do this 20 ways to do this um, five ways to improve your life um, five steps to that's uh, I do watch those videos I do probably criticize them I do probably criticize a lot of people. That is why I am a loner. People just disappoint me and disgust me. Uh, there's so many beliefs that people have that I definitely don't agree with. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the people having these beliefs and needing them and whatever they believe in. But I mean, that's a good thing to say about myself is that I, I really like my belief system. I really love my values and do think that they're better than everyone else's um, beliefs and values. They're super cultivated. I mean, I've changed my mind on many topics such as uh, eating meat and stuff like that. Uh, do, where do I stand now on eating meat? Am I a vegan? Um, no, I mostly am vegan, but I don't I don't know. There's this. I have. I have seen some. Like I don't know what documentary. Where look at look at this. Look at this. Nothing's changed. It's it's just the same. A documentary on monkeys must have been a documentary. Uh, very rarely eat meat. Sometimes I don't even. They must have been chimpanzee. Sometimes the dominant male, the alpha, the main man in the in the party in the group he'll get some meat and he will eat it and he is more muscular and there was this Netflix um, documentary he's bigger and stronger and they did twins and uh, the twins that were eating the meat they actually did get bigger I mean they said they tried to I'm not so sure. They tried to, they kind of, you know, a documentary and a, a science study will always tell you what they want you to say. But they were trying, they were trying to tell you this whole documentary that eating meat was wrong. But as, as seen in this documentary, that the, the twins who ate more meat grew bigger muscles. So I didn't believe that until this, this is just one twin study that I watched. But, I mean, I did have the other knowledge in the back of my head from previous times about watching how chimpanzees do sometimes hunt and eat meat and sometimes eat their own babies, by the way. They're the closest ancestor we have to ourselves, and they eat their own babies. There's no hope for... There's no hope for this planet. There's no hope for man. Oh, okay. Anyway, so it was more. It it did it did. Uh, so I have all of this knowledge from my years of experience and and studies that I've read and documentaries that I've seen and even ones that are trying to tell you something different with my own two eyes. I I saw in the study like they even I could see the parts that they were leaving out to so they wouldn't have to say it. But yes. And I, I don't want to believe this. I was I always believe that you'd got enough protein from uh, just potatoes, just from your vegetables, just from your bird, nuts and seeds and stuff. And I'm, it's also making me change about the cows. The cows eating the bugs that are on the grass, and that is where they're getting their protein. But the truth is, if you eat meat, you are going to be stronger, and uh, that might. That might explain my TikTok feed. I don't have a TikTok feed. My Instagram feed, which I'm not Instagram. Instagram is probably where I will not go back to. I mean, I guess I have to play the game a little bit. I don't know. We'll see if we have time. I don't have pictures, and I'm not interested in making, obviously, six or one-minute videos or less. Six second videos. I was vining there for a second. Yeah, I like long form. I like uh, 
I like listening and learning from example and I am going to try to be more positive um, hopefully you will um, keep me accountable somebody needs to keep me accountable for uh, for selling stuff I did I did just hear um, put up I one of the on one of the how to <laughs> videos or podcasts that I listen to or watch did say put up um, a calendar and mark off every time you um, accomplish that goal that you have for each day and it will help you see that you're actually doing something and uh, I can see how that would possibly work we do it with children you know with gold stars when they're kids so maybe I should be giving myself a gold star rewarding myself not rewarding myself with uh, treats and stuff <sighs> money money is still my fix there's no denying that I should have put I should have had better lighting for here for when yeah money money is my fix but I have to I have to make money I guess I have to I have to play a game of some sort I don't have to hustle like I can that's my biggest problem with money it makes me uh, not interested but let's try making money without hustling and see maybe that is an example I can set you, you don't I don't need that very, I don't need that much I just need enough um, I'm worried about my uh, my debts though. How much that 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 might be a lot. I did play the lottery the other day. Didn't win. I can't, I can't even I can't even imagine. I realize that that is not the right way to do things. That is not even a possibility. But there is a what if and. Uh, lucky things happen to me all the time I'm not I'm not going I'm what I'm not believing oh yeah that's where I have to draw the line is where these rules are real and where the rules are these rules that people tell you the reason I have the reason I don't have money isn't because I don't deserve it that is a that is a rule that some people will show you I wasn't because I wasn't right I don't have money because I'm not ready for it. I like that I saved money for the end of the video because I don't want to be that guy who's complaining about not having enough money because they tell you because those <laughs> that is why I don't have any money because like <sighs> but I you're supposed to say oh, I have an abundance of money the money keeps coming in. I mean I guess when I do say that then I do make lots of sales. Anyway I did you I shouldn't even be thinking about any of that. All I should be thinking about is getting rid of as much stuff as possible. Yeah, and uh, it's 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 a win-win situation. I get rid of the stuff. I get lots of money. Come on, what's wrong with me? It's it's just there there is this waiting thing that happened right now it's this it's it's too cold it's too cold to do stuff and it's so funny because in the summertime it was it the excuse was it was too nice it, it's too, it was too nice out not to go outside and be outside and this, i said to myself in the winter time uh, that is when you're locked inside uh, that's when you can be doing the thing that's true it's really true glad I glad we talked this out thanks thanks for listening thanks for thanks for convincing me so that is what we're gonna do we're going to oh YouTube says YouTube says that you have to know the title of your video before you make it and you have to make your thumbnail before you make it I, I am going to do better thumbnails for sure I know that that works we know that we click on cool thumbnails I'm not sure. I tried. I tried to do that a little bit during November and December, but um, it will. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I did them every day though, so if I'm making a video every day, that's kind of hard to... There's a lot of concentrating on... Yeah, yeah. My priorities are selling and getting rid of stuff. And then it's... Um, do something that you want to do. Also, this is this is my only backup time. I've had a lot of time to think about that. Oh yeah, this is, this is a key point to this video. I don't know what the, what we're going to I guess it's just I'm back. What's the name of this video? New new Jason, new year, new new whatever new Jason, what did they say? Oh, what was I saying? It was really important. It was super important. That's the bad thing about not being able to edit. I can't go back and remind myself. Okay. Anyway, it's all the same bullshit anyway. Um, I know what I have to do. Oh, that was the thing. What I have to do is, oh yeah, and when I have extra time, I did get back on track. When I have extra time then, or when I need to, you know, be happy and inspired, then I can review a toy, then I can make a video, then I can come on here to complain. I don't have to do it every day. I do have to keep the money up, though. Money is... <coughs> Excuse me. The money is dwindling. So, uh, yeah, on my toy channel. So I have to get that... I gotta get, like, it breathing again so that uh, more money comes in. And uh, I did start a new channel, which is ridiculous. But I do have to separate the toys. So, on YouTube, here's some YouTube advice. If you want to start a YouTube video, you have to specialize. You cannot... I don't... Uh, I don't know what this is. This is... This is this is slow living, um, real. This is authenticity. That's what this channel is about: being authentic. The most here you are on the most authentic YouTube channel in the pla on the planet from somebody who can't speak. So like, fantastic incoherent person making a YouTube. You can't get more real than this. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm not good at this. But what's wonderful is that I'm comfortable at doing it now. Oh no, I forgot what I was talking about again. We get, we get off track. Okay, I can remember by saying, by starting this, do what I have to make me happy. Oh yeah, so then make a video, make a toy video. Um, but first priority is um, we got to keep up the exercising. We got to we got to make this year the best year. We have to. I, I don't know if I can do it. We have to make my body the best body I've ever had. Because I'm 50 years old this year, so I have to look the best I've ever looked in my life for 50. And I'm thinking my plan maybe is to not cut my hair or beard. Uh, until my 50th birthday and then have a makeover. I can't see um, in New York too, maybe, where I can go and have the best photographers take my picture before and afters even. I've, like that's just a, that's a, maybe that's a silly dream. Anyway, I'm okay for dreams changing. I'm okay for, um, uh, resolution resolutions changing too I don't, I don't I don't believe in as much as I believe in them and understand them and think that January is a fantastic time because of just the big pressure and the all the stuff you have to do and then the open time and a new start and a new beginning right after all of this chaos of course of course January is ideal for a big changes and stuff you're also locked in your house to do things. Yeah, got a good plan. Definitely have a good plan. I gotta do it. I think I might have to put up that calendar. And, uh, I mean, if I just put on one, I mean, I had, I had a plan. It was listen to the John Tesh radio show and hear all of it, that, those science advice and tips and new science studies, stuff like that to improve your life. 
and then and while that's on I can be listing things on eBay what a wonderful plan that was weekdays um, for at least three hours that's that's that sounds amazing but maybe if maybe that's maybe that's too much maybe that's too much for me like things come up like sometimes I have to go to the post office and then I don't get back on time especially in the winter time because I have to walk and but who am I kidding because I go into the stores and I look I don't necessarily buy things but I do buy some things and I shouldn't buy anything I mean my food is really inexpensive uh, also it subjects me to more buying bad food and if I see bagels are on sale and I buy them and I don't want to be buying um, processed foods in any way but when the when you can get that many bagels for and they're on sale for 75 cents or something I mean I can't that's what happened yesterday I at least I didn't eat the two bags of bagels that I bought and I, I well I ate one and a half bags of bagels I just do have three I stopped myself from this morning the willpower is not good biggest tip that I can give you is don't bring it into your home also remember how you feel better I mean I also I used to like pinch my belly which is not that's a that's an eating disorder thing and you can say I can pinch some fat here so then I shouldn't be it's not when when I can pinch this much skin in my belly that's when that's when it's like oh okay you can probably eat a bagel and sometimes it did feel feel I don't think it feels like that now I'm not going to show you I don't think I'm going to ever I think that's something that I learned here is I'm not my oh I better not say this I'll never. Well, I can't. I'll. I, I'll. Am I, I'm always going to be fully clothed on my YouTube channel. I do have to conservative myself a little bit. Probably should never talk about religion because people don't like that. Uh, I mean, you can't agree on that. I don't really. I am always, always learning that people, people that I, um, I like are, are religious though. But I'm I am pretty anti-religion. Like, I'm glad I saved this for the end of the video. Anyway, how long have I been speaking? Oh, these are the the more hipster glasses. Um, it's almost an hour. I think that's. I think we did. I think we did well. That's some the the pollution. That's the sound the sound I should be able to deal with but the um then there's there's chemicals and there's smoke and there's drugs that's what I can't uh just when I think I can work around the sound I told myself when the when the when the loud horrible sound comes on then it's my opportunity that means no one can hear me and I can speak loud and I can do my thing and but then the, the the cigarette smoke and drug smoke and um, floor cleaner that's the stuff that's that's even worse pollution that I I don't want to deal with there's always going to be something though is there always going to be something though maybe there's not they tell you that there's you know the more money you get the more problems you get you get different problems I don't want that much money uh, anyway good talk didn't mean to make it negative again I just I don't I don't need full control but there is there's a good argument it's it's not about the control it's about I don't I don't want to smell these things I don't want to breathe in I don't want to it comes back to money doesn't it oh there now I'm judging myself for not doing things properly not being a real man maybe that's what it comes back to maybe it all stems from not being a real man and then I can full circle that I am a real man I am the realest the realest man there is that's why this is the most authentic channel on YouTube anyway oh not gonna flex because that's 
oops, that's going to make people think I'm conceited. More conceited. I love you. Can't, can't believe you watched this whole video. You're amazing. Probably should do more fashion YouTube though, because those are what people watch the most. So maybe I do have to be a, I don't want to talk. I'm not, I don't want to talk about rules or anything. I can do it in a way that's more true and, and authentic. My eye itches. Yeah, I totally can. All right. I do. I, I, I'm so grateful. I love you. I can't, I can't believe you watched this whole thing. You're sick. We'll be sick together.